We're the MIT Robotics team. We're a team of about 50 or 60 MIT students from a really wide range of backgrounds and majors, everything from mechanical engineering to computer science to physics. So this year we're in two NASA competitions. Both are centered around planetary rovers and identifying and picking up objects. One is driver operated and one is completely autonomous. The goal of both projects is to increase the efficiency of robot control, whether it's having the robot control itself or having someone control the robot faster and easier. That means building a robot that can think for itself and essentially go through the same thought process as a person would if they were in the same situation. We're sort of working on the cutting edge of technology, the NASA autonomous sample return robot. It's the same sort of technology that's going to be used in you know, autonomous cars. You, know, you see these autonomous household appliances like vacuum cleaners. It's that same sort of stuff, but sort of at a way higher level, sort of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I work with surgical robots and disaster relief robots, and I think those are some of the ones that we're going to see more often in our current kind of age. Autonomous robots that need to navigate, say, earthquake zones in, in places that are too dangerous for humans to go and perform rescue operations. The stakes are high. We're competing against teams who have been at this challenge for four to five years already, but I think unlike them, we have obviously the internal passion and motivation and love for the field and the ability to stay up till 3 or 4 a.m. every day working on our project to get the results that we want to get. Last year's competition, uh, we did the Rascal RoboOps, and actually we came in second. We were a new entrant, and nobody ever has actually uh, placed podium in that competition as a new entrant, so that was really exciting. We're in a tight schedule for the competition. We've been building non-stop since our designs were consolidated at the end of last year. The reason we need money is because we're a student organisation and we don't have any funding for it. We're competing against companies which have their own funding tools. We need the same sensors and the same equipment that people use in a lab where they have multi-million dollar budgets in order to afford these things. So everything from LiDARs to really expensive stereo cameras, we need all of this technology if we really want to succeed. We've all put a huge amount of effort and time into this project. Uh, I know it's become a larger part of our lives than a lot of our classes have been. Um, we're in there like all day. As it gets close to the competition, we're going to be there all night as well. So it's just going to be really gratifying to see the fruition of our efforts come to something real. We're willing to offer 100% of what we have, I guess, in terms of time and just our effort, but we do need help with that. So being a part of and investing in our team, I would say, is also investing in the future. We were close last year, but there was a few bugs to iron out, and I think that experience of doing it last year, not only has it given us a ton of great experience to really hone down on what we need to do to make sure our platform is reliable and robust, and we have a couple tricks up our sleeves, too. Some new ideas we're going we're gonna to throw in there to really make it, take it to the next level as well and we're gonna get first, that's the plan, yeah.